In this tutorial, we're going to do a schematic driven layout using Metro Graphics IC Station tool. Here's the inverter that we created in tutorial 1. The PMOS has been sized with a width of 12 and the NMOS has been sized with a width of 6. In this tutorial, we're going to take this inverter, create a design viewpoint, uh, and then use IC Station to create the layout. Okay, so let's get started with IC Station. In order to create the first we need to do is create the design viewpoint. For that, first let's go into our mental graphics working directory. Type in cd dollar sign mgc underscore working directory. This will take me to my elect 442 VLSI folder. Now type in adk underscore dve. The name of my design is called my inverter. The technology I'm going to use is AMI05. So I type in ADK underscore DVE space my inverter space dash T space AMI05. Enter. So this is going to create a design viewpoint for me so that uh, I can do the layout based on the schematic. Okay. Now on the Linux prompt, type in adk underscore ic and the ampersand. This will bring up IC station layout editor. Okay. First thing, let's go and look at some of the uh, setup options. MGC, click on setup. This brings up this window. Click on the display. Under display, click on rulers grid. Make sure your dis snap grid is set to 0.5.5. .5. Grid points at measure, you can leave it at 5 or change it to a 6. Hit apply. Say OK. Okay. Also, make sure go to MGC, location map, set working directory, and you can leave it at MGC under underscore WD. Now let's create the layout. Go to File, New, Layout. We're going to use the existing viewpoint that we just created. So click on Existing Viewpoint. Now browse to My Inverter Layout folder. Say OK. Under logic, click on Logic Loading Options. Flat. Say OK. Under Cell Name, give it a name. I'm going to call it my inverter. It's always a good idea to call it the same name as the schematic. On the process, click on the browse button. ADK underscore. That will take you to technology. IC. Click on process. AMI 05. Say OK. On the rules, you go to the same ADK technology IC process AMI 05 dot rules say OK click on options attach library let's click on browse again same dollar ADK technology IC process AMI 05 say OK say OK now this would bring up a window uh, for my inverter. Click on ADK, so ADK palette. Click on logic open. Sometimes this logic window opens together with the layout window. So up here I have two tabs. This tab is for the, where I'm going to do my layout. This tab is for my uh, this tab is for my schematic that I created earlier. Alright, go up here to my layout window. Click on space. Space brings up this command, floating command par. Okay. Type in PR. What PR does is brings in a VDD and a ground line into the design. If you measure the distance from VDD to ground, you'll see that it's exactly 120 lambda. Okay. Now let's go to my logic window. Up here, click on auto instantiate okay. what that does on the layout window is bring up a PMOS 
of width 12 and the NMOS of width 6. Okay, now let's zoom out a little bit. We're going to move the PMOS down here and the NMOS down here. Okay, so let's go to let's zoom out. Select the PMOS, click on move either this. and place it down here to unselect press F2 okay. move and bring it down here to unselect press F2 now let's zoom in that area when you place it make sure it's overlapped a little bit with the green up here let's move this so that these two overlap okay what we have in the screen now is what we have on the screen now is a let me move this here okay now they're overlap VDD PMOS ground and MOS these yellow lines are called overflows. They basically are, exist to guide us as we uh, create our routes okay, or uh, make our wires. Okay. First thing we're going to do is create a polysilicon line that connects the PMOS and the NMOS gates. So bring up the command bar by pressing the space and type in P, enter. This brings a polysilicon line of width 2 using the overflow as a guide connect the PMOS and the NMOS press escape when you're done let's connect the metal line for these two and a metal line to VDD metal line to ground space M enter this creates a metal line of width 3 Notice how the overflow lines disappeared as soon as we wired them up. Okay. Okay. Now let's zoom in a little bit. Let's create a poly contact. So we need to, we have the poly line for the inputs, but we need to bring in the input from metal too. So let's create a poly contact first. For that, command by pressing a space, type in PC, enter. Okay. Let's move this closer to the and but it with this okay now let's place the ports click on place port metal one notice how you have the name metal one y so let me put it up here metal one a the two ports that we placed are both in metal one currently we want our input and output ports to be in metal two so highlight the port go to the layer name and change that to metal two hit apply it'll change the color do the same thing for the output port metal two apply now let's move this straight a little straight two okay now let's wire this again space metal route from here to here to space metal route now our ports are placed on metal 2 wire and our routes are in metal 1 so we need to connect metal 2 to metal 1 via using what we call a via okay. for that let's do space type PP which means place port via move it and place it directly over it space again PP which brings up port via okay. the next thing we're going to do is add port text 
now on the edit key edit menu you might have to scroll down so scroll down and until you get add port text now when you did that all the text is added if, if you can't see it zoom in you'll see a you'll see y and if you scroll up you should see vdd vdd and similarly you should see ground ground okay all the ports are named all the ports have been placed all the ports have been named next thing we need to do is add a n well contact and a p well contact press the space bar type in n w c for the n well contact bring it and place it right here again scroll down let's bring a space bar p well contact pwc place it right here Two. Okay. now we should we should be done we should be done with the design of our inverter we should have our completed invar in, uh, inverter next thing we need to do is make sure that we have not violated any uh, design rules so there is design rule check scroll down on the ADK edit menu on the verification you'll see DRC on this button on the right hand button click hit check say OK Okay. if there was no error you will see total rule check number of rules that we check total results zero total results zero means your design did not violate any design rules okay. if there was any kind of violation you would see total results number greater than zero in that case you do DRC first to figure out where the first error is next to figure out where the next error is so this is has saved this design this is how you do a schematic driven layout using IC station uh, tool.